Hello and welcome to Baka Talk, the only podcast on the internet where the two co-hosts are playing on their phone. I'm not playing, I'm doing research. What are you researching? Twitter and why I hate it. Ah, makes sense. Well, that That's is Pyrolis. really easy research to do. Very, yes. And the other one that did not make an excuse for himself is Wheeze. Hi. I never have any excuse. Why were you playing on your phone? I wasn't playing on my phone. Were you texting using... your girlfriend? I was, but then I stopped and started texting a different girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man, though. Taking after Light Yagami. High five. Dang. Are you going to murder the other one like Light Yagami? No. No, definitely not. Okay, I just had to make sure that we're going to get demonetized on YouTube within five seconds of me starting the podcast. Uh, so, so we're good now. On a scale of one to ten, how soon can I date her? Uh, never. Oh, why? Who, the girlfriend or the other girl? she's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> the one I asked you to not get your number? Not that one, a oh, different okay. one. All right. You know he has more than one cousin, right? It's not like an anime I where know. you only have one cousin. I just, I just reject those ones and think of the cute one however Al- alabama nice i have a lot of cousins like a lot this is an interesting fact about wheeze the true wheeze i have a really big family his family get togethers take up all of walmart oh my goodness they're ginormous what happens if your family meets in walmart is it like a giant like roadblock uh they kind of live all over the place so not not we don't usually meet in walmart but, but. theoretically scientifically speaking yes. what happens if they all merge if into one all walmart? of my family they would take up the walmart so wow. basically what would happen is all their cells would turn into a single singularity. And it'd be an apocalyptic so, event, and then Evangelion would start. Yes. You no, are the third impact. <laughs> it'd just be a black hole and you don't die. My grandma. That's basically the third impact. My grandma right. had like nine brothers and sisters. Dang. So then and my grandma had like a hundred over a hundred like kids, grandkids, great grandkids. Like that that one thing from my grandma is huge if you birth two people and i birth two people four then, more people will know and <laughs> what <laughs> is that from well, it's a old church song if i oh. tell two people and you tell two people <laughs> it, it must be a mormon song no it's it's a christian song. Uh, okay i see i, I feel like i've been, anyways i've heard of that song but yeah ranting from yeah us. anyways my, my family's really big yeah yeah Anyways, hope you're all doing great and having a great, great uh, start to your week, seeing that this releases on Monday. I have to remember that sometimes. This is on Monday. Wait, this is Monday? Monday. Yeah, we release on Monday, dudes. So we talk huh. to a bunch of depressed people? Pretty much. Uh-huh. I mean, what better Feels way to bad. do it? Depressed people talking to depressed people. I'm... If we make them happy and the not depressed and they get hooked on us forever exactly. and we become their heroes and I get a harem that I've so, always dreamed of. So Just like be, drugs. We have to be friendly and happy to uplift their days. Exactly. They're Ooh, sorry. How's it going? Sad, pitiful. That's how they blow their brains. Grindy brain. days. I think the look he just gave me told me you were going to blow your brains. <laughs> They're empty, <laughs> depressed, horrible weekdays. Anyways. <laughs> Hopefully you wait until the end of the episode to uh, do what you're going to do. If you don't like this opening, please let us know. (laughs) (laughs) Let us know on Twitter at uh, ask... What is it? What are you Talk doing? Talk Vodka. Yeah, that <laughs> was our email called. that you were trying to plug there. <laughs> Let um, us know on Twitter through our email. Yeah. That is... <laughs> Go to our... E- email us. Ask at... Ugh. Email us at... Ask, ask Baka talk yeah. at gmail.com yeah. and ask us what our Twitter is. Yes. And then we'll we'll tell you. And then you can go to Twitter and complain to us. And then I'll berate you because I know who it's it who it is. Yeah. And then we'll be like, then we'll just dox you and be like, this is your email address. <laughs> All of our fans get <laughs> harassed us. Make sure to use your personal email. <laughs> that's how email. we get kicked off the internet. <laughs> yep. Use your personal email address. That, that's how we lose all our fans. No, that's how we gain more. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's People true. love that sort of thing. Because then, unfortunately, because then people are just like, this podcast is horrible. And people are like, oh, really? Let's go check it out. Pile up. All right. So let's actually get started with the podcast. Seeing that's been almost five minutes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We have some huge news. We have news. Oh. Well, we only have one news. We have a new. A new. A. What's the single of new news? New? New. We have new no. new. No. 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 Yeah. We have no. We have no. 
We have no for you, Pyrolis. A lot of people. But I guess that. we've. I guess it's not like completely recent. Like it's pretty recent, but it wasn't like today. So I this guess this was, was posted an hour ago. I guess it was known. We're gonna be telling you guys. We have some Monday. known for you. Okay? We have known. We're basically uh, news back in the forties. It happened today yes. for us, but we're telling you it next week. Yeah. Like Independence wasn't actually on uh, the fourth. As yeah. far as I know, this only pertains to people in America. America. I know I said that. Like uh, that. Yeah. Just to mess much. with people. Uh. And probably, probably Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And probably well, England. So, Crunchyroll is all over the world. Yes. But Funimation is only in America. Yes. So, I think it only pertains to people in America. Yeah, I think so. Mostly. I'm sure there's other places, odd countries and stuff that kind of are hooked up with America stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing um, probably Canada has, like, Funimation and... Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, um... Well, Funimation is becoming Crunchyroll. And Crunchyroll is becoming Funimation. They're, They're merging married. into one super being... That shall hopefully have anime on it. Yep. And hopefully work. Crunchimation. <laughs> Crunchimation. 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 Hey, guys, our prediction's coming true. It is. It is. Heck yeah. It was pretty quick. So, yeah. As of March 1st, 2022, existing and new Crunchyroll subscribers will have access to library and simulcast content previously exclusive to Funimation in Wakanim. Yay! All new series from the upcoming spring 2022 season will stream exclusively on Crunchyroll. Funimation and Wakanim will only continue to add new episodes of current series. And then they tell you to, if you have more questions, go to the Crunchyroll release calendar. To be fair, they actually started doing this already because season two of they Demon did. Slayer was supposed to be a Funimation exclusive and it was on both. Yes, and they also... As soon as uh, Crunchyroll was bought by Sony, yeah, they started adding. It's actually kind of funny. They started adding stuff from Crunchyroll to Funimation because <laughs> there was stuff porting over from there. <laughs> That's funny. And then they're like, "Oh, everybody likes Crunchyroll more." Yeah, probably. Crunchyroll's way bigger. So they just said, "Screw Funimation streaming stuff," and probably went just Crunchyroll. Yeah, which, by a business standpoint, is probably the best idea ever. By making the fans happy is probably the best idea that they could have done. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you guys think of this? My, my viewpoints are uh, stated in how I feel about subscription. Yeah, you don't even general. care. I, I don't. I honestly don't. I, okay. I, I'm happy that Crunchyroll has more stuff on it because I'm I've always had Crunchyroll. Yeah. I think Crunchyroll is still a little bit janky and they need to fix their website and stuff some, but um. Otherwise, like their new website thing is is pretty good. Their beta their TV app sucks. Does it? Um, Oof. it logs you out every time you use it, which is really freaking annoying. So they need to fix some stuff like that. Um, like I, I was on, and like their apps and stuff, they like log you out super quickly after you use it, unless you use it like every day or something. And even then, it still logs you out sometimes. I mean, Funimation did that to me daily, I like open, on the website itself. Yeah, that's so. so stupid. I used my, especially for TV apps, because like you log into Netflix, it's on your TV until Forever. you like, you know, log out or whatever. If someone else buys your TV, they have your Netflix. I actually had that happen one time. We had a Roku box, right? Yeah. Or a Roku box. I think that's what it's called. It broke. Mm. And my parents sold it without me knowing oh, first dang. of all they sold it for 15 dollars, and the thing was worth like 75 dollars. <laughs> second thing is they didn't let me wipe any of our accounts off oh dang so i had this little old lady start adding paid <laughs> channels to my account i kept on getting emails for this finally i had to go subvert my account and just delete my whole account dang i kind of felt bad because i know this old lady somewhere is just like where all my subscriptions they're all gone one of the old ladies was like hey these suckers forgot to wipe everything I'm gonna charge you my wazoo <laughs> I could have been that be too hilarious. but the way my brain works is just like I kind of felt bad because I, I imagine yeah, this helpless old lady probably doesn't even know what she's, she's just like why is all my TV gone cause she was like she was getting like the Dove channel and stuff like that like mm. all the, like the wholesome like clean channels yeah Darn, just like $15 contraption <laughs> They were charging me like a dollar ninety nine a month or something for this stupid like single channel. I just oh, want to watch me some picture films with Crunchyroll, which you can't even add anything on. 
to after yeah. you have it on your TV. It just logs you out constantly. So yeah. that's annoying. I went down to my phone to check Disney Plus to see if like a, a show was there that they were talking about yeah. porting over. And it was still I was still logged in. Yeah. I haven't clicked on that thing in like literally months. Probably like six months or something. And then I clicked on it, I'm still logged in. I'm like, what? I think it, I could be totally wrong about this, but I think if you uninstall Netflix from your phone mm-hmm. and then reinstall it, if you have, I think it's archive data set up on your oh, phone, it'll... you won't even be logged out. Yeah. That's so great. And fun of yeah. me, Crunchyroll's just like, you were gone for 15 minutes. You were gone for Someone's going to steal your account. Yeah. It's really annoying. I really so, hate that. So, is that the main complaint you have for Funimation? That's the main, I main complaint I have for it and the complaint that I've heard other people talk about that's, like, the worst one. Okay. I mean, the web, the, the like, the user interface is fine. It's me. Yeah. But, like, they, I don't know. Part, part of the reason, like, Netflix is so good is because it's so easy to use. That's why people don't pirate as much as they yes. use Netflix, because it's just, like, it's so easy. You just, like, click, click, click. There's my show. But with when you have something like anime that's, like, a little more niche and it's, like, people are going to pirate it more because your freaking website sucks. Yeah, I was thinking that today while I was um, switching over my accounts because I went from, I ha- used to have Verve, yeah. VRV. Verve is actually pretty good. It's a subgroup of, it's a sub streaming site of Crunchyroll. Yeah. And basically what that was meant for back in the day when Crunchyroll and Funimation were working together, mm-hmm. they weren't owned by the same company, but they're working together. They had both of their content on it as well as other popular like YouTubers and like Rooster Teeth and stuff. Yeah. Came together and do did this streaming channel. Mm-hmm. Well now, basically Crunchyroll said screw it to everybody else and basically only made it worth it to do Crunchyroll Premium. Yeah. So like they're telling people that have Verve to do, get rid of Verve and go to yeah. Crunchyroll. Yeah, that is something weird too that they were saying like Verve will still have Crunchyroll's catalog for now, but they won't have any of the new shows. Exactly. It's like what? Yeah, it's weird. That's kind of jank. So, anyways, I noticed when I was migrating all of my account information from Verve and Funimation that it was pretty simple, but at the same time, like I tried deleting my credit card information off of Funim- Funimation, yeah. and they're like, oh. You have to have at least one primary card for this account to be active. And I'm like, mm-hmm. but I canceled my subscription. And they're like, well, it's still going through. Like, you still have to wait until your cancellation date to delete your card. That's I'm like, what do you mean? So you already charged me for this month. Like, yeah. you're not going to charge me again when you cancel. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> they might try. There's, but. yeah. I, I think in general, less subscription services is better. Like, I yes, get the worry sure. of, like, um, monopolies and stuff. But as far as subscription services, like, it used to only be Netflix. That it also like, used to just be cable cable TV. Yeah, it was, like, cable TV and then Netflix came out. And those were yeah. your, like, two options. And now it's, like, all these random single channel things that just, like, we've got Discovery Plus. We have, you know... Disney Paramount Plus. Plus. We have Paramount Plus. AMZ. Like, AMZ? Uh, HBO Max. And just yeah. like these, so many of them, which it makes sense because there's a ton of stuff. And I understand things like Disney where it has like all of Disney's backlog of like old movies and stuff. And Disney just owns a ton of stuff. So it makes sense. But when it's like, this is like CNN NBC's. Plus. NBC has Peacock, which is just like NBC's streaming service yep. thing. It's like, I don't know. It's it's a bit much. But for anime, you know, it's it's getting bigger, but it's still not like the biggest thing. So having it like there's net it's on Netflix, it's on, you know, Hulu and um and Amazon Prime. Yeah. And then there's the one anime specific streaming service. That makes sense to me. Why does I there like have to be like way. four? <laughs> yeah, and that was what I was getting worried about with there being high dive and there yeah. being Funimation, Crunchyroll, Verve. It's annoying because like, it's like, I want to watch this one show. Oh, it's on this like janky. Yeah, you know, exactly. Nobody knows this streaming service. It's like, oh, okay. Guess I have to get that for a month. And... Yeah. It was very stupid. So having like most everything on Crunchyroll is pretty nice. Instead of just yes. like half things were on Crunchyroll, half of the things were on Funimation. Funimation had a bunch of like old shows and Crunchyroll had a bunch of newer shows and mm-hmm. it was like, 
Yeah. I'm happy that all the new stuff is going to be on Crunchyroll. The one thing I'm kind of worried about is the older stuff. Yeah. Like today we are going to we're watching the new not the new episode, but our newest episode of um, Lucky Star. Yeah. And I realized that they hadn't ported Lucky Star over to Crunchyroll yet. Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid that they're not going to port some of the really old anime over. I think they will eventually. I mean, they have the I rights so. to them and they're paying for them, so I'm sure they will. Yeah. But it's probably they're just, it probably just takes a ton of time to do that. So they're just starting with newer stuff and yeah. going down the list. I guess. I don't know. You know a little bit about um, website encoding and stuff, right? Mm hmm. And server maintenance a little bit, right? A little bit, yeah. How is it extremely hard to say take all that backlog of data and say either hook up the Funimation servers to the Crunchyroll site or basically take all the Funimation data and put it onto the Crunchyroll database? Not really. I no. mean, you can just either transfer the files over the new servers or have the website uh, get data off of both servers. Right. Like, it's basically so like, adding another hard drive to your computer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So basically, it's just going to take time, like just transferring a file per se. Yeah, I mean, unless they just transfer the entire server. If they're not, if they server, <clears throat> if they transfer the entire server array over yeah. to the other website and like they open a port up for it, um, it's not going to be that hard at all. They just got to basically add in new uh, web pages and be like, all right. Uh, this web, this video links to this file directory here. Okay. I think the only problem with that is I don't think they can just take the Funimation servers and link it to Crunchyroll because they did say they're going to keep Funimation up and they are going to keep on adding the anime that's already out and releasing to the site. And I think they're going to keep that site up for people that are stubborn and don't want to switch over for some reason? I'm guessing they're going to do that for a little while. Then they might uh, just either send files over or uh, Crunchyroll will have to get their own files. Yeah, which I think with a lot of the older ones, they're just going to have to port the files over because I'm pretty sure Funimations are the only one that has the right to distributing them, unless okay. it's from Japan. Itself. Yeah. So, I don't know. So it just sounds like it's going to take time then. It'll take time. If you they're transferring data, then, well, uh, in an, a, <clears throat> each anime episode is about 500 megabytes. Yes. Uh, and that's for like 1080p. And then uh, I'm not quite sure how the quality change works. If like, Because I haven't put videos on a website, so I don't know if quality changing, if that just lowers the grade of the way it streams. Or if they have to select a different video file entirely. As far as I know, it's the bit rate. Okay. At what, how the uh, file is being streamed. So it's the bit rate of the file. It's just like streaming itself. The okay. bit rate um, takes or decides the quality of the stream. Okay. So if they give you a higher bit rate, then you're going to have higher quality. Which is why on Amazon, mm -hmm. when, they, when you go to the uh, quality settings... Mm -hmm. They're like highest quality. We do not suggest because it takes like 6.9 gigabytes per hour or whatever to stream this. Okay. And then they're like lower qualities. It takes only this much data to stream this because it just, it's the bit rate that it takes. So, so. putting in perspective on how big uh, a season, like having anime is on my uh, old hard drive, the one that didn't get fried. Yeah. When I had like 30 some animes on there, it took well over a hundred gigabytes. Makes sense. I mean, even an audio file. These audio files I do are about 10 gigs per episode. Okay. And that's just audio file. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Another thing, it looks like they <laughs> they found the jankiest way of porting things. Oh, but no. apparently, there's no original Japanese. Yes. They 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 ported all the dubs. Yep. And forgot the Japanese. Yep. What they're doing? I noticed that. Very, very cool. What they're doing, Weez, is they're taking. Uh, the 32 gigabyte 2.0 flash drive from middle school. They're plugging it into the servers, pouring over as much anime as they can, then they're shipping it over to uh, Crunchyroll servers. Then they're <laughs> they're walking it. them over. They're walking them over there, pouring it in. It's it's like me when I'd go to school, download anime on the computer, pull it off, go home, put on my. Well, computer. we all know for the longest like, time, Crunchyroll and Funimation have been right across the street from each other. Yeah. So of course, since they own both buildings now, they're just gonna have one employee. With that 32 gig flash drive, plug it in, 
walk it back over, plug it in, transfer, huh. and then walk back over. I feel like if I worked for either of them, that'd be my only job. Oh, yeah. I feel like that'd be me. Yeah. For months. <laughs> so they, they have no origami, but they only have it in dub. Mm -hmm. And then all the comments in the first episode are like, the dub of this anime sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not the best dub. It is not. So that hopefully they'll get everything ported over, but... Darth Vader. No. I do hope they get everything ported over. I'm okay with just the dub for now. For the simple yeah. fact of, well, I have a hard time reading I, sub. I so. guess we'll just see how long it takes them to get everything over, but it, it's pretty janky. So I guess we'll time them. March 1st, we'll see how long it takes until it's actually like a good service. Yeah. Game, so. You guys have fun with that. You're the ones using it. Yeah. Yep. I might have to put on my pirating hat to get some of the other anime that oh, yeah. I want to watch because I don't have high dive anymore. Yeah, the only thing I've ever used high dive for was um, Made in Abyss movie. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking because the Made in Abyss season two. Oh, wait. No, that's on Amazon. Never mind. There we go. I'm set. There you go. Heck yeah. Amazon yeah, comes yeah. in clutch again. You can keep your hands clean. Let's go. Well, I yeah. have filthy mind. Amazon's got that and it's got the Lord of the Rings show. And Vinland Saga. And Vinland Saga. Which is Saga. season two is coming out really Are they going to have season two only on Amazon again? I believe they so. had the first one. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't know. They're always random. Sometimes they're just like, eh. I don't know. For all we know, Sony bought Vinland Saga as well. The, the first, <laughs> yeah. The first 12 episodes of JoJo were only on Netflix, but who knows where the rest of the episodes will be. Right. Exactly. It's just Torfin is fighting against the natives in Vinland, and then uh, you see a PS5 fly by him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no the sony overlords are here <laughs> or it's just like one of those dumb new amazon commercials where it's like and then he ordered right on prime his brand new sword and got it delivered <laughs> with two-day delivery and then he just like pulls it out i found i saw the most the stupidest amazon box i've ever seen in my life today yeah i walked out of the break room mm -hmm. at my work and we do a lot of shipping, right? So there's yeah. a lot of Amazon packages that we see. And most of the time you see the nice, simple, smiley faced Amazon box. Yeah. This one looked like a cereal box because it had <laughs> Hotel Trans Transylvania, the new movie, plastered <laughs> all over as a giant ad. I'm like, you're putting an ad on your delivery box now? That's not a terrible idea. I mean, That's it's not, hilarious. but it just looked stupid. <laughs> Wow. It reminded me of those, um, it reminds me of like the Dorito bags mm -hmm. where they'll have like the new Call of Duty on it or something. Imagine the toxins that come from that ink when they have to burn those boxes at the landfill. Yeah. Uh, big corporations doing the better for It's full world. color too, HD color. Nice. Like these were just like imprint images onto this cardboard box. Nice. So that's going to be great. Oh, they have a list of shows that they've ported over. Oh, do they? Yes. Uh, is it on their release schedule? It is on this one random article that says Funimation titles now available on Crunchyroll. And our regularly updated list of shows you can watch now on Crunchyroll. Of our regularly updated list of shows you can now watch on Crunchyroll. Can you send the link? Yes. So I actually am interested in seeing this. And I'll, uh, my voice will fill in the void. Uh, so while you guys are doing that, I'll, I'll talk about my week, I suppose. How was but, your week, Pyrola? Well, yes, how was your week? Well, I first and foremost, I discovered the most amazing feature on Twitter. I can mute people. That is. Oh, I thought you were going to say you found the dislike button on the comments. I, there's a dislike button? On the desktop, there is. What? Yeah. I didn't use my desktop more. Didn't you guys see my tweet? I no. did, but I didn't know what you were talking about. Nobody knew what I was talking about. That was the problem. <laughs> There's a dislike. I don't know if I got a beta or something. Also. I, I would love that button. I, I have to I'll... mention, because I just forgot, I was playing Magic Arena, mm -hmm. and the person I was playing against was Pyralis. <laughs> it was Pyrolis, but it was an A instead of the O. Yeah. It was spelled exactly the same. And I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. There's another one. <laughs> guys. What? Did but. they take the thumbs down button? No, hang on. I, it has to be a comment itself. So I have to find a comment. Okay. They added blood. See, they mentioned specifically that they only added the dubs of some of these. Wait, no. So they must be uh, planning to add the subs. No. So it wasn't just a glitch. Never mind. They got rid of it. Oh. They got rid of it. I was so Those hopeful. cowards. 
I was so hopeful. I don't like why that everyone's taken away the dislike buttons. I like being able to show. I was I surprised. Like I was yeah. surprised Twitter added it. Unless I'm going crazy. Stupid YouTube adding. Uh, I'm probably going crazy. Taking away dislikes basically I mean, like, is dumb. How are you supposed to explain that you dislike something? Yeah, or just like there's certain things that are, that are just scams basically. Yeah. Or just like total clickbait. So it's like I'll teach you how to fix this, and then it's like I don't know how to fix this. If you have any suggestions, put it in the comments. Like those are videos that you should dislike so people can click on it and be like, and not waste. Oh, time. everyone hates this video. Yeah. I just find the the good one. This like website it. is just as distracting for somebody with dyslexia as. Oh, this is just a Crunchyroll site. Never mind. Well, I would love a this makes uh, sense. I would love a dislike button because I've been muting people, and I'm thinking like, when I mute them, it's like, don't worry, they won't know that you muted them. Like, no, I want them to know I muted them. <laughs> I honestly really don't. yes. <laughs> well, I, the dislike button would not notify anybody. Well, I think you except know. for you or except for Twitter themselves. You can block uh, them. I think if you block them, I think they'll know. Yes, because it shows up like know. you've been blocked from. Yeah, this that's account. only if they check on my account. Who's gonna do that? I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm okay with just muting them, cause that way, it, cause like, ever since I started, uh, I was I've been a bit active on Twitter recently. Yeah. Ever since I started being a bit active, I've been getting a lot of VTuber stuff, and for some reason, my uh, Twitter thinks I like off-brand stuff, and a lot of VTubers do a lot of off-brand stuff. Yeah. So I've started uh, muting all of them. Interesting. Nice. Yes. So my Twitter is becoming, uh, making me happy again. Instead of whenever I get on, like, why is that? Why would you say that? Or why am I seeing this? <laughs> Man, I realized, and it kind of sucks for promoting stuff, but I realized as soon as something big happens in the world, I take like a week break mm -hmm. from you, from Twitter, mm -hmm. just because everybody seems like they have to comment on something. I got you. Of the topic, like. Yeah. And it's usually something stupid that does not add to the issue whatsoever. That's fair. See, I like commenting on stuff when I have something to say about it or to it. Yeah, a lot of people just comment on it just to, I don't know, it feels like they're just like shouting into the void. There, I've seen stuff like, like there's a bunch of stuff I'm like, I kind of want to say something, but I'm not going to so scroll past it. Yeah. 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 So you're saying that you got bombarded by a bunch of hentai VTubers and now you are happy again because you got rid of the hentai VTubers. I've gotten rid of most of them. I feel like that's all the uh, West VTubers are made out of for the most part. Yeah. So whenever a, a new one are, yeah. whenever a new one shows up, I've got to mute them. Yeah. Like, I know what happened too because I... I Followed, I was following a post and I agreed with some people and their viewpoints on some stuff. And they started following you? I followed them. Ah. Okay. And I started talking with them on and off. Well, they liked those certain things that I do not like. Oh, so then it shows up. Because yeah, yeah. So I had to start muting them. I was like, you know, I don't want to unfollow them because we've had some good conversations and I like them as a person, but I don't like a lot of the things that they are looking at. Yeah. Because <laughs> now it's showing up on my feed and I do not like this at all. Partially, yeah. there's a thing about like, this is the, this person's thing. And so they're like different and quirky or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then like everyone's doing the same thing. So it's like none of you are different or quirky or all exactly oh, the same. That reminds me of the meme of uh, it basically takes this like basic Twitter bio where yeah. they have like all the different stuff. Like I'm different and I have this, this and this. And then they just play paste it on the image of the Buzz Lightyear in the toy box. And then it shows <laughs> all the hundreds of other Buzz Lightyears on the <laughs> shelf. Just the exact same Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I'm different. Here's the rest of me, all the same. So like, yeah. Twitter has the recommended to you because your friends like this. Yeah. But then it has the recommended to you based on things that you've been looking at. And I'm like, yeah. I have not looked at this. The thing I do like about Twitter is that on your like main homepage, it like it shows you the people you followed, and then yes. you scroll to the top, and then it stops. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. Like, you don't have to go to the search thing and start looking at other things, you know, that's, like, recommended or whatever. You can just, like, follow people and then look at what they've been posting and then be done. Yes. No other social media does that. Yep. And Twitter, that Twitter is actually cool in that way. I like Twitter... I like the platform. 64% of the time. Yeah, I like the platform. Yes. I don't... Like, the a lot of the people on the platform 
not so much but the platform like twitter is extremely toxic and horrible but i think it's toxic and horrible because people have realized this is the best platform so the most amount of people are there yep that's fair yeah unfortunately everybody also thinks that they have to well have opinion on stuff yeah it's only a west also twitter not necessarily there are other countries where they feel like they have to post their opinion, but the West thrives on it. So when I say West, I mean like obviously American stuff, but also like UK and those countries as well. Oh, okay. Twitter is that makes sense. specific. Twitter, I think, does help curate the like argumentative thing back and forth more because it's so short. Like you can't say that much. Mm-hmm. So you can't really explain too much of your viewpoint. So you can say something, and then it sounds really bad out of context, yeah. and then people go crazy over you. Unless you're just Burger King that just posts women belong in the kitchen and think that like everything's going to be fine. Didn't they post that <laughs> on like one of those... Uh, it was like Women's they History Month? They posted it on Twitter. Yeah. No explanation whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they were like, put a comment underneath. They're like, oh, no, we, we meant this by it. And people were like, uh, Damn it, it's done too late. <laughs> That's the problem, too, uh, is if you post something and you think it means one thing. Yeah. And then somebody is having, say, a bad day. Yeah. Or they just got off of arguing with somebody else on a different thread and they scroll down and they see that and they blow a gasket. Yeah. Because they read it in a different way because they had some other emotion running through to- their veins. The other problem with Twitter is there's so many trolls because, like, yes. with Facebook and stuff like that, the persona is you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's mostly just, like you as a person yes yeah and so they expect you to have your name and your face and everything on it twitter's not exactly like that some people do like i am a bull on twitter. a lot of famous people and stuff but there's a ton of people that just have an account and just you know you don't know who they are they're just a random person what do they call so, it they, um a lot of anime community people they stand a different is it is it like a stand where they're like the stand of a different anime character yeah stalker fan not stalker fan where they'll say i am uh luffy from yeah One Piece. yeah yeah there's, and they're like there's stuff like i that. represent luffy and it's just like you're you just literally just have luffy in your profile <laughs> yeah. picture and- there's stuff like that there's just random like people but anyways because of that people there's way there's a ton of trolls and so half of the arguments are just trolls that are just trying to make people mad, yeah. which is kind of funny. And then the other half is people that are actually getting mad at yeah. at things. And because of that, also, you can make like 20 Twitter accounts and then find some random person's post that's somewhat popular, post a bunch of comments that are like, I hate you because of this. And then a news article will be like, this person's getting canceled. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That you don't even have to make the account. It's yeah. called bot farming. Yeah. <laughs> so because of that, like I kind of respect people that just screw with people, just to screw with people because partially you shouldn't take uh, things on Twitter so seriously. No. Like that's part of the problem with people getting so mad about things. Yeah. It's like, don't take this so seriously. It means literally nothing. It's just random people shouting into the void. I agree with that, but also at the same time i like to have actual conversations with people on twitter i mean they're awful people that you know just to like hurt people is basically all they're doing but i kind of respect their uh their levels of comedy i respect it i don't agree with them but i respect (laughs) i respect in the same instance that i respect the joker yeah (laughs) that he's so crazy that he doesn't falter from his beliefs at all yeah like he's like the one character that you know is always gonna be yeah. that same way. It's he's like, not gonna change. It's like Light Yagami, you know. It's like yeah, what exactly. he did was terrible, but at least he had the guts to do it. Yep. Or like a certain faction in World War Two. Like what they did was terrible, but the, but they had the guts to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? I didn't make any names. Please it's don't. okay. Thank you. I'm gonna hit it again. Please don't. Just for double. But Russia, they did bad things in World War II. But they All right, I'm getting men. that timeout clip, and I'm definitely editing it to something. Yeah. Because you, just, you, you could sir, get a timeout. Bleep all uh-huh. of that out. But speaking of World War II, uh, I also found a tank. <laughs> Where? Right down the road from my work. Oh, like one of those memorial tanks? No. What? I found a tank I can possibly buy <laughs> and restore. How really? much money yes. is it? Five thousand right, dollars. Hang on. 
<laughs> we're gonna have to take a break because it's ad time. <laughs> but we're gonna come back and talk about your tank, and then we're gonna talk about some anime stuff. All right, we're so gonna be talking about anime. What? Hopefully, girls and panzers. Let's go. Sure, let's talk about girls and panzers. and panzers. Let's go. So we'll catch you all on the other side, and you guys know what to do. Ad time. And welcome back. So, are we going to finish the tank story? Yeah. So, right down the road from my work, there's this old car place. Mm -hmm. um, they have a tank. Like, I was looking at it in Google Images because my coworker was telling me about it. I could tell just from the outline because you can't zoom that in that far uh, with Google Images and old maps. Right. I could tell by the outline. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Renault FT. I mean, it looks like it. But the thing is that that's a, like the first tank that has a rotating cannon. That it doesn't make sense to me why something from French would be down here, especially because the one guy was saying it looked like a World War II style tank. I was like, this doesn't make sense because this was pre World War One. So I called the place up to get more information on it. So I was thinking maybe I was wrong and it was just a Sherman. Yeah. It is the original, like prototype. Well, he was telling me it's like the original prototype from the factory. Oh, that's cool. Of uh, the licensed version, like because America got a licensed version of the Renault FT. Yeah. So we got the blueprints and we made our own version of it, basically. Yeah. Um, he didn't know what it was called, but I do. It's the M1918. Okay. It's a light tank. It was the first American tank with the rotating cannon. Cool. Based off the Renault FT, I was like, man, I knew it just on the outline. I know he told me I can come down and look at it anytime I want. It's definitely a restoration project. Yeah. And I definitely plan on looking at it. So it's something that he said he'd be willing to sell? Yes. Oh, that's cool. I'm not telling anyone where it's at. I'm not disclosing any information <laughs> on it. Because it is a artifact of history. And it is mine. Your artifact of history? Yes. Awesome. Well, you've heard it here. If you hear anything on the news about a madman driving a tank down the road. It's not that big of a tank. It's a two-man tank. Okay, if you have any news articles about a madman driving a two-person tank down the road. It's like... You know it is. I'd say it's about the size of a sedan. Okay. If, I remember, if I'm thinking right. So it's not that big of a tank. Okay, but still, I was just joking. No, I know. But you, you're still probably going to see me on the news. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Especially when you actually like, drive over somebody's car or something. Like, well, it's not. I can't do that. It's very small. It was basically made to go over trenches and support the infantry. Because oh, this okay. was in, this was during like the start of World War One, where they're using machine guns in the trenches, like mow down troops. So it was supposed to like basically soak up the machine gun bullets and let the troops cross. Oh, like in okay. Fortnite. No, <laughs> not in Fortnite. Like, it when you jump in a no, truck, no, and you drive no, at the enemy, no, and then your whole squad jumps no. out. I had one of my squad members die from that. I've never died in a car, only like once. Oh, he didn't die in the car. He got di he died by getting hit by the semi truck. Oh, I I've I don't think I've ever gotten killed by getting hit that by a the car. Stupidest thing ever. We're running up a hill, and we're like one of the last teams. Yeah. He's like, there's a truck there. And the next thing I know, he's just dead. I'm like, <laughs> what? He's like, I got hit by a truck. I'm like, how did you get hit by the semi? It's slow as heck. It is slow, dang. But no, instead of having a cannon, because they didn't need to pierce other tanks back then. Yeah. It just had a machine gun. Oh, okay. So it had an anti-infantry turret. Yes, yeah, so it was mainly okay. anti-infantry. That's cool. So that'd be fun if you get that. I don't know where you're going to put it, but... I'll find some place. <laughs> you can put it in my backyard for now. It could fit back there, yeah. It's about I mean, the only know. thing that could fit there. Your neighbors might <laughs> question why you have a death machine in your back. And then then you just point and shoot. You're just like, no questions. <laughs> See, I just wear my lab coat and work on it the entire time. Yeah. It'd be hard not to get it dirty, but that's what I do. Well, nice. cool. Um, Besides for that, um, how about... We talk about some anime. So you guys watched any anime lately? I've only watched some Attack on Titan. Some Attack on Titan? Yeah, I finished the first season. That's nice. it. Nice. What did you think of it? It's a good show. I think uh, it's definitely overhyped because people people do this with all with all these overhyped shows. Like, I really like Demon Slayer. I really like Attack on Titan. They're both super overhyped. Yeah. When people are like, this is peak fiction. I've never seen anything better. It's like, yes. no, it's pretty good. And it's got, this it's pretty. This is the magnum opus of humankind. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And it's like, yeah, no, it's, it's good. 
<laughs> but there were some things I didn't like about Attack on Titan. It does feel overly dramatic at times when it doesn't need to. Very like, kind of like melodramatic almost. I like it has the thing that Pyrolus. It's the William and Shatner you're effect. complaining about in Demon Slayer, where Tandro cries all the time. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think Tack on Titan's very predictable. It's pretty... Uh, the first pretty season surprising. is somewhat predictable. It kind of... It kind of follows the classic shonen it plot, It does. Kind of, okay, but... I did dislike... I know what you're talking about. I did dislike the... I, real, I realized in the final arc it was going to end with... Aaron Titan form beating the heck out of the female. Exactly, Titan that's kind of what I was saying. Yeah. Is it, it follows that very classic. Aaron's gonna work up to fighting the big bad yeah, guy, and the big bad guy is the female Titan. There's a lot of other things that happen that are very surprising and shocking, which is yeah. cool. The uh, it is a bit over dramatic with like, okay, you've you guys have all been trained to fight Titans, like for. But as soon as they get into a situation, they all freeze they all and freak freeze out. And like watch the Titans slowly eat somebody. It's like, oh my goodness. And I would understand it with certain characters and certain people, especially on their first mission. But it's like everybody. Right. And then they're like, this one guy died. And everyone's like, Ugh. it's like Armin. Armin makes sense because he's just like a wimpy yeah. little little yeah, guy. And he's basically. not very. I really like Armin. He's not strong at all. No. He's super weak, but yeah. he's really smart. He's tactically advanced compared yeah, to everybody else. But like he's he's really So that bad makes at sense. But then you have characters that have been basically talking a big game yeah. throughout all of training. And then as soon as like a Titan jumps at them, they yeah. freeze. And it's like he kills one person and they're just like no Yeah. And they're exactly. like freaking out for so long. I feel like that might be a thing that translate it's kind of like the manga translated kind of problem like in the manga it's going to be one frame of this guy with like a shocked face yes. whereas in the anime it's like 30 seconds of this person like uh, uh, yeah uh, and it's like it yeah. is it, it's kind of like that way because it felt like you're talking about when um aaron gets eaten by the time yeah there's right? like that stuff there's it just feels like whenever somebody dies everyone just like yeah has a freak out session over it i think the only character that does it properly is probably uh mikasa yeah where like she sees uh the female titan like eat like yeah. capture aaron or eat aaron and she's like i'm gonna go kill that yeah like, she like freaks out and goes to attack like i understand stuff like that and just like bad you know management of of seeing it yeah but when it's like everyone just like has a, a breakdown like it's the saddest thing in the world when somebody dies it's like i feel like you'd be used to half your squad dying like every yeah. time you go into battle like uh, the only thing i can say to play devil's advocate is ptsd in a way yeah. because they all were survivors of the wall yeah mario and i do understand Falling? it and part of the idea is just the titans are so terrifying like, yes there's just basically nothing you can do against them you can kill some of the small ones and then a big one just like kills you instantly yeah. like you have to do everything perfectly or you die is kind of the thing yep and you have to hit exactly yeah. right on there and i understand and that it's just the only and i understand some of the parts like afterwards and stuff yeah but it's like when someone dies in a battle it feels like your adrenaline will more take over and it's like i need to survive instead of just like it felt like the person who wrote it had never experienced death in their life so they kind of just assumed you would just completely break down and shut down as soon as someone died it could be like that that's yeah. kind of what it feels like with a lot of the characters just being like oh no like it, especially because it's like they, they might have been part of the same squad, but they really didn't have much, like, connection. They yeah. didn't really talk much. But then they die, and it's like, no! Yeah, exactly. And so it's like, you just kind of have to fight and then, like, deal with it afterwards. Yep. Like, I don't think many people go into war, see one person die, and then just, like, have a panic attack. <laughs> like, you're kind of trained specifically so that you can handle stressful situations. Well, to counter that, in Vietnam... There was only, I think it was around 2% of the soldiers mm -hmm. that actually did any of the killing. Yeah. Everybody else would either freeze, not even fire a shot, mm -hmm. or purposely fire up in the trees so they, they wouldn't hit anybody on the ground. 
Yeah, and I, I understand, like... So there is a sense of fresh recruits, and I'm talking about the scene where they, where all the trainees, the Colossal Titan and the um, Armored Titan come back for yeah. some time, and they're all, like, forced to go and defend the city, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about that scene where they're all freaking out. Okay. I know there's a bunch of other scenes yeah. where they freak out as well, but I'm talking about that scene. I can see that t that one and only time being where they actually freak out. Yeah. So they're like, okay, we prepared for this, but then they actually see somebody get eaten in front of them, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, crap, this is real. Yeah. I can see them freaking out then. Yeah, there's a lot of situations where it's like, okay, this makes sense. It's just after the, especially the first attack. Yes. That one was like, everyone is just minding their own business the titans have never made it in the wall yep. no one's fought a titan except for the survey corpse in like a hundred years yeah and then it's like they just break through it's like obviously these people aren't really prepared for this everyone's gotten kind of lax yep but then there's times where it's like okay like i get it this one side character died you don't need to spend like yeah the they whole get... episode just like everyone crying about it Mom, they get so... better at that throughout the seasons i'm gonna say yeah. the first season is probably the the worst uh, i've heard that i've heard it gets better like yeah. every season gets better. second season's way better the third season i'm gonna say at the moment is probably the best okay for everything that goes on yeah and then i'm excited yeah. to watch it it it's just weird because it has like i guess it feels edgy at points because it feels like it's trying to be a mature show yeah. without actually being mature because it's technically a shonen but it's Technic trying to be a senin yes it's or trying whatever. to be a dark so, fantasy yeah but it's like it still has just like the main character has a superpower yeah. thing yeah exactly i want thor kell's face to be plastered on every single titan <laughs> that would be terrifying. That's what I want. That the Titans are great because they're so they're so dorky and like terrifying. They're so unsettling. You don't know what they're gonna do. Like, yeah, they're just well like one of them's like super slow and then the next one's running like with his arms like in a weird position. You're just like, eh. Basically take Call of Duty Call of Duty Black Ops zombies and make them giants naked because like some of them will just be like what like kind of just like wandering towards you and go to eat you while others will just like full-on dead sprint at you that's a good uh explanation it's like a zombie movie it is it's that's what it is apocalyptic zombie except the zombies are like ginormous ginormous and unlike zombies they can heal and yeah. they also are basically unstoppable because I mean, if it was all you had to do was like kill the brain of the titan yeah it'd be a lot easier it would it Sorry. is interesting that they have that that it's just like they only have one weakness kind of thing yeah exactly so but that's cool i'm glad you're liking it yeah i do like it it's wow. it's a cool show i'm excited to get through it more because i know it changes a lot as it goes on yeah so. i tried watching attack on titan one time and i quit it halfway through the first season yeah and then i saw that it was ending and i was like well crap i kind of want to yeah. catch up with it and actually see the end because i hear it's really good yeah the politics start getting interesting yeah. too especially in the later yeah seasons. and I, I found as soon as i was able to get past season one watching the rest of the show was kind of addicting like i didn't yeah. want to stop sometimes there's a couple nights where i actually stayed up real late watching the episode so yeah it's really good yeah how about you pyrolist you seen anything watched anything I, I read some manga. Nice. Goblin Slayer came out with a new chapter. Read that. Oh, nice. nice. So you caught up with Goblin Slayer then? Yeah, I've been caught. I caught up with that like a month ago. Does Goblin Slayer release monthly or weekly? Um, I'm not sure about the Japanese, but the people translating it release it. They try to release it weekly. Weekly. Okay, so it probably releases weekly then. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I would think so. Hopefully, there's like Noragami. I think releases monthly, and some of the other shows. They're releasing it month like jojo releases monthly i think mm -hmm. um some sometimes they have longer chapters too but it's weird then there's one piece that just releases weekly for the last like 25 years yeah never stopped goblin slayer is usually uh 30 pages about every okay. chapter so. hmm. that's a lot for a chapter a manga chapter yeah that's quite a bit nice. it, mm -hmm. it sucks because i gotta keep on uh whenever i finish a manga waiting for the next release i've got to find another manga to read while I yeah. wait for it. Yeah, I know. Like, reading 
watching anime is bad enough when it comes out weekly, but manga can have there like, are some days where I have like twenty manga update on one day. I'm like, all right, I guess my schedule's going for today. Yeah, I I can't really get into reading manga weekly because. I can't remember enough of what happens and I have to like get in the mood to watch this show or whatever where if I'm just catching up that's why I don't really watch seasonal anime much either because if I'm just catching up on like a ton of shows it's like I kind of miss a lot of the emotional yeah. beats that have led up to these points instead of just kind of like going through it yeah I feel like binging is more enjoyable experience I have to agree I've noticed lately Especially with the most recent uh, watching Demon Slayer and watching the latest Attack on Titan. Yeah. I noticed there was a couple weekends where I would just watch them just to keep caught up with the show. Like, I didn't necessarily yeah. want to watch them. I wasn't invested in it. Mm -hmm. I just watched it to keep up with but it. But if it was one day and you're like, I want to watch Demon Slayer, then exactly, you watch it. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah. And that's one reason I also don't go, go into weekly manga. Because yeah. I know I'm just going to read the chapter mm -hmm. just to read it and yeah. not really remember And anything. then it's like, what happened last week? What was the reveal? Oh, yeah, this happened. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, now I'm excited. Also, manga tends to be like, I'm excited and it ends. Yep. <laughs> it's like, ding it. That's also why I have a hard time just reading a manga every day. Yeah. Because usually what will happen is I'll not read manga for like a couple days or like a week or yeah. two. And then I want to read it, and I'll just finish, like, a couple volumes in yeah. a day. So, yeah. My mind works differently. I forget about things that are going on in real life, but I can remember, I remember. a paragraph from Aragon that I haven't read since the <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You're the only one I know. Well, not the only one, but you're the one that's probably the best at it, where you can just, like, oh, yeah, these two lines happen on, like, page, like, 60 I try my From best. 12 yeah, years you ago. must not be the only one because I mean it does release weekly and people get it weekly and read. True. But I can I could also understand like if all I read was One Piece mm. and I read it weekly, I could understand it because then it would be like, oh, it's this day, this yeah. is what happened last. But if I'm like really big into it and have like a ton of series, I'm not gonna remember what happened. Right. I'm reading like uh, at least 20 maybe 30 manga at one time dang just one at the same time i just read it yeah oh, just, i got 30 different phones just, yeah. man <laughs> I, I, I could not do that you just do the like the split screen thing on your phone yeah. and then just like all the manga just going through all of them basically the it's really tiny but I yeah it. <laughs> just... that's why my vision's so poopy yeah <laughs> dude you just have to emulate a bunch of phones on your desktop screens I and just sync screens. just there sync the scrolling to all of them yeah. So that way when you scroll, they all switch the pages. By Just God, like, I'm going to um, be reading a whole lot more. Oh, that happens in Death Note, I think, with L when he's like looking at footage or whatever. His eyes and start going crazy. And there's just like a million things yeah. and he's just like looking everywhere. It kind of looks like both his eyes like start going crazy <laughs> yeah. in different directions. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what you're doing. Just See, my brain can segment things and I, it makes it easier to multitask. Yeah. So. Sometimes I multitask. Usually it's when I'm playing Magic and like editing a video at the same time and I'm just like click play land wait my for my opponent to like play 20 minutes later because they're all so slow and then it's like oh my turn again uh, let me put it this way while i was talking to the one guy about the tank i was also helping a customer <laughs> man i don't know what is up with me then because i feel like the odd one out because i can't multitask at all i will be editing something mm -hmm. and then i'll start scrolling through twitter or like looking up posts and stuff mm -hmm. now realize that i for some reason paused the editing like pause the like listen back yeah. to the editing and started just reading stuff <laughs> so i'm like why yeah i sometimes most of the time i can't multitask i'll get like distracted by something or focus on one thing yeah. can't do the other but some days i'm just like in the zone i'm just like i'm editing and then it's like oh i play magic and then i'm editing and it's like i don't know Magic is different though because I can stop, especially if I'm like play something, wait for my opponent, work on editing, then like go yeah. back. It's my turn. I like to listen to a lot of political stuff while I'm playing games or like music. A lot of times I like have a uh, someone in the background talking to me about the yada 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 and why they believe yada yada yada. I'm like, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, oh, killed another one. Yeah, I, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tarkov, uh, my main way of playing Tarkov was sitting in a corner and listening to the sounds as I read manga. Then I hear footsteps like, oh, one has approached. Nice. Yeah, I can 
I usually, when I play games, I just want to be sucked into the game. Yeah. Same. So I don't usually multitask. Sometimes, if I'm just grinding away playing a first person shooter, I'll play music. But mm. most of the time, I don't know. I haven't played much multi first person shooters lately or just except for with friends so if i'm playing a game now it's mostly because it's like a story game or something okay yeah even um yeah usually only when i play shooters i only play them with friends so i have yeah. to be invested in it but if i play by myself i'm usually just listening to the game itself mm -hmm. so and i music comes out of the speakers i have separate speakers for music then i've got my headset. <laughs> so that way i'm not like it's not fighting for uh superiority on uh, it's basically nice like, uh, Nah, i can't do that See, i used to do that with a wireless earbud mm -hmm. or like a wired earbud i'd put an earbud in one ear mm -hmm. listen to like music or a podcast and just put my headphones over it so technically well i had only one ear that was listening to music but i had the headphones <laughs> over Nice. So I was technically listening to the whole audio. A lot of times, my Mima and Papa would talk to me anyway. Yeah. So I just have one head side of my headset off. And while that's off, I just have uh, whatever's playing in the background, playing in the background. <laughs> I used to do that for everything. Even if I was playing games with people, I'd always just do like the one, one on, one off. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it, I don't know why I did it for such a long time. And then I started putting both head headphones on. I'm like, dang. I forget there's actually surround sound. Yeah. I know. It's like I did that a lot too because um, I would just wear my headphones around the house. So then yeah. if someone wanted to talk to me, I'd always have one open because yep. they would just like yell at me because my headphones have noise canceling. So they'd mm. be like, bah! just like wave at me. Yeah. It's like, oh, what? Mm. So they got annoyed with that. So I just have one ear like off a lot of the times. And then it's like, I want to listen to music. Oh, no one's around. Putting both ears on. It's like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I know. Like, especially music that does the 3D <laughs> yeah. audio and stuff. Like, it's great. Or if I'm playing a game like Fallout or uh, what's another good one that has good sound design? Uh, Tarkov. Tarkov had good sound design, but it was very intentionally noisy. Yeah, because it's supposed to replicate real life. Yeah, it's supposed to replicate real life, but also background. at the same time they yeah. added the more because they purposely made it more noisy. Yeah, because yeah. Anyways, Gun what's another Gun game? Gun I was thinking of. Uh, I don't remember. Mainly the Fallout games. I like the sound design in Fallout games. Nice, because you know? they had the sound, like the three D audio and stuff. Like, like sometimes you'd be in a gunfight, yeah, and you'd accidentally leave a car on fire. You'd walk down the road, and like you'd be like twelve blocks away, and like yeah. off in the distance, you just hear. That's great. Oh, there's a car explodes. You're like, oh, or a frick, a football field away here. Democracy is non-negotiable. As a robot, just one punches one of those uh, gremlins. Yeah, I mean, you would hear that a lot too, because especially in Fallout Three, you there was the propaganda droid or not droids robot said float around and yeah. spelt propaganda so you'd be walking down the road and like off in the distance you'd hear the uh what is, it's not the yankee theme what's it called oh yankee doodle yeah yankee doodle yeah and uh you just hear that coming closer to you nice, nice. battlefront yeah. 2 has amazing sound design it does it, like is when it when it comes to its graphics and sound design it's just like i am in star wars now it's just like, oh that was the game fallen empire Oh, Fallen, Fallen Empire Order. has yeah, Fallen Order has yeah. really good sound design. Oh yeah, Star Wars has great sound design because they take just the amazing sound design from the movies. Yeah, and then yeah. just like in the game, it's like ah, oh, this sounds so good. It is terrifying, and especially in a lot of the uh, um, battle royales in like Tarkov, mm -hmm. they'll purposely distort the footsteps sometimes. Oh, yeah. Where it sounds like the footsteps are coming from all over the place. With Tarkov, it depends on your headset. You it does depend headset, on your headset. Like, I know exactly. And that's what I meant. Yeah. That's what I meant by they purposely distort the audio. Yeah. They'll purposely make it clearer depending on the headset you have on equipped in the game. Yeah. But if you have oh, no headset God. on, they'll purposely make it extra noisy. You hear everything. So you can't. Uh, you can't pinpoint anything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Fortnite has a visual thing now in its. Uh, in the compass where it'll show you where gunfire is coming from kind of like the old halo system where if somebody fired they'd blip up on the map real quick yeah. and then they'll turn off oh yeah so good old heads it's just the it's just the gunfire 
um, indicator. Yeah. Which I'm surprised more battle royales did not implement. So, but Fortnite is Fortnite. Just get a silence, or you'll be fine. Does the silence? I I, I know they don't have the silent pistol on right now. But did it show up when? I don't know. Okay. I haven't played. I it hope not, because if you have a silencer, it shouldn't show up. I think there's only two guns in Fortnite that have a silencer. I think it's like the silenced uh, stinger gun and then the silenced pistol. Maybe the bow doesn't show up. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't checked. Bow probably I mainly use up. the bow too. So bow's good. I randomly get. I randomly stick people with it, and it's just like. Man, Whoa. the bow is so easy to kill people it's with. Instant like speed to hit them yes. so if you're on them it's just like Pew! whereas the sniper it's like bullet drop it's so slow it's... the bullet drop in that game is so simple to figure out yeah like but like i don't know has... how these other players like i have been watching people try to snipe other people yeah and they're trying to treat it like it's a freaking call of duty sniper rifle and i'm like <laughs> dude just aim yeah, up yeah aim a up little a bit a little bit more yeah it's awesome when you see someone just like crouched a while away and they're trying to snipe somebody or something yeah. you're like okay aim at the head a little bit up headshot <laughs> yeah it's really that simple yeah it's not like tarkov or like apex where you have to like judge the range meter and then adjust by that yeah all right the wind's blowing yeah. five miles this way all right <laughs> <laughs> got him yep but anyways uh i think that's about it for today right yeah cool Maybe yeah, I'll, watch, maybe I'll watch some more anime so I have something to talk about. This weekend, I plan on starting to rewatch Goblin Slayer. Nice. Since it's on Crunchyroll. I'm going to watch all of Attack on Titan in 24 hours. Heck yeah. And then, I don't know. Go, you go you have one two one laptops, one. right? I do. And your TV. I do. So you just start each season. Nice. Out. And you start, you, you first, you watch the first episode of yes. the second season. And then after the first episode's done, you start the first episode of the individual seasons. So you, you get spoiled by stuff, but at least you'll be a little bit further it'll, ahead yeah, on the second it'll season. It'll all connect. Eventually. Eventually. Or you'll have an aneurysm, one of the two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, more big news. I sold a gun, actually. Nice. Yeah, for my business. So. Very cool. How much did you get? Uh, five hundred forty-five dollars. Nice. Which cool. I thought was funny because the five-five-six, but I sold it for. That's uh, kind of convenient. You owe me five hundred and forty-six. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You owe me twenty. <laughs> I just remembered that too. Dang it! <laughs> trying to make me it's owe like, money. Boy, yeah, you owe me money. Wait. In that case, you only you owe money. me. You only owe me five hundred and twenty-six dollars. <laughs> Man, what did I get from you? I don't remember. Exactly. You better be Friendship. showing yourself off in a My skirt. My love and attention, <laughs> which is for, expensive. For that price, you better be in a skirt in like 10 seconds. <laughs> Man, I don't even own a skirt. You better get one with the money <laughs> I'm on you. Yeah. We'll post it on OnlyFans. Nah, OnlyFans deserves more than on that. On YouTube, hit like and subscribe if you want to see Boom in thigh highs and a mini skirt. And uh, give us a comment saying that. Also, email us at askbakatalk at gmail.com. And send us a message on Twitter at TalkBaka telling us that you want to see that. If we get 10,000 likes on this, I'll make Weez do it to him. No. <laughs> and we'll videotape it. It's got to be uh, within a month, though. I However, will, we will not show us. What face. I'll do is I'll get a P. I'll get my PNG and then just get, like get it edited for like in the maid costume. Yes. Heck yeah. No, I'm gonna bag your face and we're gonna have <laughs> you dressed up like a. All right. Before we ramble too much, thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, share with a friend. If not, just share it on the internet. Yeah. And Yay. yeah, with that, we'll catch you all in the next episode. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Don't be too depressed. We'll catch you all Watch later. Watch all the anime. Watch all the anime and also listen to all the manga. Jam meow. Burgesha. See you all later.